hey everybody, our team here at Vanland just put some new seats in an old van. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you guys the easiest way to get one or two seats in a van without having to do an entire smart floor. So if you want seating that is approved for taking passengers down the highway and has an integrated seatbelt, there are not a lot of choices because these seats need to be DOT approved for passengers and pull tested so that you know they're safe. So we're gonna take you guys through today one of our favorite single seat options for the Sprinter van. We're gonna show you how it works and we're gonna show you also the easiest way to get it installed. So the first thing that you guys need to know about seats in your van is that you cannot just take any seat and put it on any base and use any old mounting plate, put it in your van and expect it to be safe for passengers. So all the seats that we carry on vanland.com are approved seating for Sprinter vans. That means they have been pull tested and they have been safety rated and they've actually been tested in Sprinter vans specifically. So you know they're gonna be safe. Now. If you know about flooring and vans, you know that there's options to put smart tracks all throughout the floor. And that allows you to put seats pretty much anywhere where you have tracks in the van. And that is definitely an approved way. We sell um, the smart floor by AMF Bruns and then also van equipped floors. But one of the new developments in the seats is that now you can buy them with a single mounting track. So rather than putting the entire floor in the van, you can just put one track in the floor, use the same installation method as the full floor, and get an approved seat pretty much anywhere in the van. And I wanted to show you guys this older van that we just put new seats in because it really was not not that much work to do a little modification to the floor, get the seat track in, and install these two new seats. So the first thing about the seat is that it does slide back and forth in the tracks. So that's really cool because it gives you some variability in where it's located and just gives you flexibility to how you want to have the seat installed. And you can also just pull the seat right out of the tracks and take it out of the van. Now to lock it down, we go underneath the seat. There are a couple clips that hold the seat in place once it's locked into the tracks. And then there are knobs that you'll spin and that tightens the seat down and keeps it from wobbling. So once the seat is firmly in place, then I want to show you guys, it has, it has a nice recline to it, and it also folds all the way forward. So if you want the extra space, or if you had a full floor in here, you could actually slide it under the bed and stow it away. So when you sit down, it has a full 360 degree swivel on it. Let me pull the seat back forward. There we go. So it swivels all the way around. It also locks as you're going around, just to give it a little bit more of a firm feeling in different directions. It is required that you, when you're riding and the vehicle's moving, that you are faced forward in these, but certainly once you get to camp, you can spin them around. Right now we have two seats in this van facing each other. Um, it's a 170, but this is a very generous amount of room to sit and talk with somebody. Okay, so one of the things I wanna share with you guys and be very clear about is how these seats are mounted to the floor. So this is the mounting plate that's used to install the seat, and this is a required piece in order to have the safety rating that you need to reliably transport people and not have an issue if there's an accident. So a lot of people ask me, hey, can I just buy some L-Track and put that in the floor and then attach the seat to it? And the answer is no, you cannot do that. And here's why. This is a typical piece of L-Track. It's very thin and there's not much structure to it. It's really not that strong. This is the seat base. Now it does have the L-Track profile and this is the part of the floor that you of the floor track that you see, which is why people think like, oh, it's just L-Track in the floor, but it's really not. It's a complete aluminum extruded piece. It's very heavy duty and very strong. So this is required as part of a safe installation for the seat. 
Now, the way that it gets installed is that this plate has to be glued metal to metal. So there cannot be any flooring materials in between the plate and the metal floor of your van. So if you're doing a new install, then you would simply leave a cutout in the floor that allows for this to be mounted. Or if you're doing an aftermarket install, then you're gonna trace this out and cut the floor, but you have to cut all the way down to metal, and then you install this plate. The way that it gets installed is with a few very specific products that are going to get a extremely strong bond between this plate and the floor of the van. So first we use a beta clean and this is just going to clean all the surfaces, make sure they're free of grease, oils, debris. And then you prime the floor and you also prime the underside of the plate. So this is going to get the materials ready for the adhesive and make sure that they don't separate from the material. So the second you prime it. And then the last is the actual tube of heavy duty adhesive. And you lay this down on the peaks of the floor corrugations, and then you push this floor plate down onto it. You'll typically weight it down for a while and then give it some time to cure. And then it has an extremely strong bond to the floor and is not going to come up. And then the last thing you do is install these reinforcement anchors. So you will drill two holes on the rear of the track. So if you're driving in that direction on the back two sections of the track, drill holes, put in bolts. These actually go underneath the van. And so you're getting a reinforced section of the van so that if this tries to pull out, these are gonna prevent it. So real quick, the measurement on this, in case you guys are wondering, it is 39 and a half long, approximately, by just under nine inches wide. When the seat is in the middle of the track, it can move 11 inches forward and 11 inches back. So you have some of that flexibility. Um, just for those of you who are wondering, this is not enough space to get two seats on the track. You can actually get the two seats on here, but there wouldn't be enough leg room. We've tried it. Um, you're gonna need two tracks if you're gonna do two seats. Okay, so I hope that explains it. We get this question all the time, and you have to mate the base with the seat to have a safe way to travel. So I just want to show you guys a detail of the underside of the seat base and how it locks into the tracks. So you have seven of these um, little feet per per side of the seat, so 14 total, and those fit into the floor tracks. You kind of drop it in, and then the next thing you do is pull the tab and you let these go down, and then you can push the seat back and forth and you'll hear it click, and once you do, it's clicked into a single location and you know that you have a good solid connection. And then the next thing is you take these knobs, you spin them, and then that is what tightens the seat up to the frame so that it's not wobbling around. It gives it a really firm, um, connected feel once you tighten these. You can find these seats and bases on our website at vanland.com. Just look for our seating category. And this is really the easiest way to get one or two seats in a van. And what I love about it is that you can plant it into a new van or you can put it into an existing van that's already built out. No drama. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys again next time.